Back here on the post-game show, a frustrating one, but a great effort from the Sacred Heart Pioneers. They fall to the Hartford Hawks, 68-67. Hannah Kimmel is uh, first up before coach, and Hannah, you do what you do, just an old double-double. A great effort um, against a tough D. I mean, they, they were scrappy, and you know they always are going to be. How tough is it to play them and come away with, you know, the points that you were able to come away with? Uh, they're very good on defense. You know, they're big, tall girls, but, you know, sometimes you just – you know how to play playing against teams your whole life. You know how to play against teams like that that are tall. So you got to do like the little things to get your buckets. For it being the first game, playing with a couple new players, uh, Aaron and Cleo, what are your thoughts as far as the offense that you ran? Because at times you guys were really clicking, and I thought defensively as well on the other end, everybody really kind of seemed to gel into the system. Oh yeah, they're great. They're honestly probably the hardest working kids I've ever met, and it's awesome. I'm excited for what the season has in store for them and for us as a team. What do you take away from this? I know it's a one-point loss, but you fight to the end. What does this tell you about the character of this team and the rest of your teammates in the locker room? It tells me this is where we're starting and that we only have up to go. So, Very good. Very good. Great job today. Good effort, and we'll see you back on Wednesday. Now on to the coach, Jessica Minetti. Uh, you guys, and I just said it as you heard, battling so hard. Uh, what are your thoughts on your squad's effort today? Uh, Why well, I cannot complain. I think that we did a great job responding, and so that's a – in the locker room we talked about I challenged them to respond to have recovery to fight when people walked out of this gym if they got a chance to see us once I wanted them to walk out and say those team that team is a great team of fighters and I think we did that today and so I was really proud of the effort unfortunately we came up a little short but sky is the limit right now based on what I'm seeing in their response three ball just wasn't falling today but uh, they were not afraid to shoot it though so you've got to be happy with that and the confidence in the shot one or two here or there, maybe it's a different result, but what about the effort and the confidence in the offense? So I think offensively, we did a lot of really good things today. We've been working on it. We're in year number three of the system, and so I'm seeing a lot of fun reads that they're starting to naturally see, and I'm starting to see mismatches. I thought we had a big game from our post players today, especially in that first half when our threes weren't falling. And then in the second half, you know, I think we shot 41% from three, and in the locker room I said, listen, keep shooting. This is what our offense is built around, key or three. So the post really, really carried us into the second half and then with the momentum we were able to hit some threes and just came up short we had it we had to make our free throws i think i think i should spend less time on threes and more time on free throws this week <laughs> uh, that one that also frustrating but again on the positive list of targets, so you mentioned the post play and unfortunately in foul trouble but when she was in there she was tough to defend she was she was really tough she's she's been showing us some really great toughness in practice in the scrimmages she's here you know seniors the light bulb kind of goes on and when it does, they get really aggressive. They play with a lot of confidence. She's got a little swag on the court now, and I like that about her. I think she had some tough calls called against her today, but I think she fought. And if she can continue to do that, we're going to have a really great opportunity to get her the ball in the post and for her to have success. Great, Coach. Certainly far more positives to take away from this one. And go get them again on Wednesday. We'll see you here against the University of New Hampshire. Thank you. Jessica Minetti, the head coach. So the Pioneers, they don't come away with a win, but they come away with – Pretty good look at what this team is all about. Ultimately, they fall today 68-67, but take some positives away. We'll wrap things up here from Coach by Court for Katie Shepard. Great job today on the color. I'm Randy Brochu. Thanks for joining us. And our final score is 68-67. The Hartford Hawks defeat the Sacred Heart Pioneers. So long, everybody from Fairfield. <laughs>